Mrs. Campbell. Hi, Ms. Campbell. Thank you for being here with us. What prerequisites are necessary slash beneficial for taking your capstone? Okay, for the art capstone, um, which is primarily an AP Studio Art class, um, the students in their home school, whether it's Truman, Van Horn, or Christman, need to take a second level class. So they, if they're doing drawing one, they need drawing two. If they have basic photo, they will need advanced photo. If they take painting one, they will need a painting two class. So they will need to take a second level class um, with their um, homeschool, high school art teachers. Um, they will also need to be recommended by those high school art teachers. So before they apply for the capstone, um, I kind of get a list of names from the Truman art teachers, the Van Horn art teachers, and the Christman art teachers about who would be a good candidate the student then signs up for the capstone and they fill out some things and I confer with all of the other art teachers, um, high school art teachers in the district in order for them to be accepted into the program. And what careers will this capstone prepare students for and what are the life skills they will be learning as well? Um, a lot of the students do go into the fine arts, but some do not. A lot of them, it's more about their creativity. They get to express the creative side of themselves. I've had engineering students who go on to be engineers, but they wanted the creativity of this class and they'd have the prerequisites. I also have students who are going to go on to college, Kansas City Art Institute, where they will pursue a career in the arts. Um, I've had photographers, once they graduate, they start their own photography business. I've had one painter a couple of years ago. She is now on Twitter and she sells her paintings for hundreds, thousands of dollars. Oh, um, is that so, the yeah, that's yeah, yeah. So we've had a student do that. So there's many different avenues that they can pursue, whether if they're just graduating high school, if they want to go on to a fine arts school, a regular college. Um, I work with whoever wants to come and whatever their path is, and we try to get them ready and prepared for whatever may come. What does your average day look like here at the Capstone? Here at the Capstone, um, we are mostly in the afternoon. Um, the students either come by bus or they drive over themselves with the, um, with the permission slips. Um, most of them, they come in and they take their temperature, we greet them at the door and we let them in. They, mine actually get straight to work. They kind of know what they're doing. Everybody is doing something different. They pick their sustained investigation, their theme throughout the year. They are welcome to use any of the mediums that I have. So I've got painters, drawers, photographers, digital artists. So they come in and get straight to work. Um, they work until the end of class. Um, once a month, we have a group critique, whether it's online or in person. The students actually turn in their real work and they have to fill out a scoring guide that's in line with AP College Board. Once we kind of go through all the projects in a couple of months, this whole gallery will be filled with artwork. So we actually do show their work. Um, I do communicate with um, the owner of Art Squared. And usually for a month or two, she'll pull and she'll take some of the students' work and show it in an actual gallery. I know in the past, pre-COVID, we would also show work at the libraries and student work has also been shown in um, the hospital setting. So I do try to give them a real world experience of having their artwork shown and displayed. Yes. Thank you, Ms. Campbell, for being here with us today. Hey, what's up, Justin? Hey. Um, what are your future plans or aspirations in life, and how does this capstone fit into those plans? Well, um, my goal is to become a professional photographer, and um, this class helps me. It gives me a chance, and the supplies, like, Photoshop, um, a workplace to do my goal. What does your typical day look like here at the Capstone? Well, my typical day is either um, I go out in the square and I take photos, or I stay back in the classroom and look for the photos I've taken, maybe edit them, and then when I'm ready, I eventually print them for my portfolio. Um, what classes did you take to prepare for this opportunity? Oh, well, for my case, um, I went for the photography line of classes, so I did basic photo, advanced photo, and then last year I took college photography here, taught by the exact same teacher. So I already had like a feel 
for the college experience okay. that I'm doing in this Why class. Why should students pursue taking a capstone course? Well, it gives students an opportunity to go with their passion. Like I have a chance to take photos during class and get a grade for them. And it gives me a lot of freedom to do so where I'm not like constrained and it gives me like a chance to represent. What is your favorite part of being enrolled in this capstone? To do art. It gives me an opportunity, the supplies, the time, things I could just never have if I didn't take this class. Nice. Thank you. Uh, thank you for our guest, Tristan, being here. We are here with? Uh, Imgur Euler. Hi, um, What are your future plans um, as far as beyond school, and how does this capstone fit into those plans? Um, well, I plan on trying to get into an art college after school and also getting into psychology to go into art therapy. And this capstone really fits into that because it allows me to explore art in ways that I feel the school, just being in the school building, wouldn't have let me do. Uh, being here at the capstone, what does your typical day look like? Usually I get here and I immediately sort out where I want to do my work at. Usually I work up in the loft and I pretty much spend all day working on my assignments, which are all kind of dictated by whatever I want to do for the assignment rather than fitting it into a criteria. What classes did you take to prepare for this opportunity? Um, I actually took an intro to art class, which I feel everyone did, and then I took both painting one, painting two, graphic design one, graphic design two, and then drawing one and drawing two to get into this class. I don't believe you have to take as many as I did. I just kind of rushed it. I was Why should students pursue taking a capstone course? Students should pursue taking a capstone course mainly because it's pretty much a college class. It prepares you for how college is going to be. It allows you to sort of be your own teacher, which it, it just feels generally more <laughs> like a college course than what I believe a college course would be at the school. It's just, it's a completely different experience. What is your favorite part of being enrolled into this capstone class? I really like that I'm able to not only dictate my own work, but also dictate where I work. Like I'm able to go to the square and get a drink if I really want to, if I'm at the place where I can do that in my work. It just feels, a lot more like they're treating me like an adult rather than a kid.